A crew of four is now on its way to the International Space Station for a six-month stay. Once again, private company SpaceX is changing the game for these types of missions. CBS 2's Mark Strassman reports. Four astronauts lifted off Sunday night on a SpaceX rocket flight to the International Space Station. U.S. Air Force Colonel Michael Hopkins is leading two Americans, physicist Shannon Walker and astronaut Victor Glover, as well as Japanese astronaut Soichi Noguchi on the 27-hour trip to the space station. Glover will become the first black astronaut to spend an extended period aboard the space station, about six months. The astronauts named their SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule Resilience in light of this year's global challenges. This liftoff was given a 50-50 chance of even happening. For NASA and SpaceX, heavy winds scrubbed Saturday's original scheduled launch. After the launch, the rocket's first stage separated from the spacecraft and re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, landing nose up on a drone ship out in the Atlantic. It will be reused for the next crewed flight scheduled for March. Vice President Mike Pence and Second Lady Karen Pence were on hand to watch the launch. The mission called Crew One culminates a six-year multi-billion dollar effort by NASA and SpaceX. It will start a regular crew rotation of flights to the space station using American-made commercial spacecraft. Mark Strassman, CBS News, at the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida.